What's up guys, Plagio Roger back from my video, and today I'll be doing a voiceover over my games to get 35th in the entire world, and unfortunately I couldn't uh, voice over this live because some audio issues, and hopefully that is uh, resolved and can figure out the problem, what the problem is, but anyways, our opponent here is going to be playing RG, so you always want to go with Money Miner in the back, Sand Lane to defend RG here. And I always like to go for an early cannon, so I can get back to another one, just in case. But, since he played the Mother Witch, I went for goblins, knowing that he wouldn't get any value. And went for a log there. Went for a princess and goblins on top of the rogue ghost, and I'm not sure why he let that Mother Witch go, but I guess I need to punish him here. And his log is out of cycle, so we do get our damage back. Ice Spear also jumps for chip damage. And I'm going to have to kite this Phoenix Ops lane here with the Mighty Miner. And he's probably going to go with the Fisherman on that. Yep. And we have to wait and see what he's going to do. Let's go Princess here to get to my goblins. I'm gonna log that fisherman away. Go for a defensive cannon to defend the rogue ghost and the mother witch. Cannon's actually a really good counter to mother witch because it kills the hogs and herself as well. And Ice Spirit here to apply some pressure. I always want to try to get as much damage as possible in single elixir because when double and triple hits, it's going to be very hard to get damage because they're going to have a fast cycle and uh, Log and Mother Witch are not ideal to face against. I'm from my Minor Herring Goblins to try to protect the HP of the cannon and I'm looking for a Princess here to try to take out that Phoenix as early as possible. Go for aggressive lightning, so I go for another cannon. The hogs on the right side are kind of getting sketchy, so I went for goblins here to finish off the mother witch. And he goes with the rogue ghost there. I went for princess to defend against it. And he went for gone barrel and then mighty miner sand lane of the RG. Yep. You do get some nice damage on the right. Power defending this next RG will not be easy because I'm giving him a lot of lightning value already. Okay, he actually decides not to lightning here for some odd reason, but I'll take that. I want for Ice Spirit to help freeze the ghost in place and Gondor to beat out the log. I always want to try to beat out their log so you can have your goblins to defend their RG when they have lightning. I went for a nice rocket here, knowing that. The Mother Witch behind it will cause some problems. And we're looking good right now. About even on damage. Slightly in the lead here. Went for a cannon to defend. And circle back to another one just in case. And Princess in the back here to help on defense. And I went for Goblins last second because I thought the um, Fisherman was going to connect, but it didn't. And I was starting he was going to go for an RG here, so I kind of went for a Money Miner trying to think that he was going to go RG, but he goes opposite lane, so I popped the ability here to help defend that and log the goblins away. And he actually wastes his logs on our in, on our goblins, so we go for a Gone Barrel. And Princess trying to snipe something, but it kind of like failed. It forced out a rogue ghost, so he didn't have that on supporting his RG properly, like it's going to die first, so that's very good. Goes for aggressive lightning. I think he should have waited. It's fine. He wastes another um, log, so I'm for a Gone Barrel aggressive. Only 20 seconds left. I'm for a Princess here, and this next RG is going to be tough to defend. Just rocket this, anyways, and actually hit the RG is very nice. Goblin's trying to beat out the log. He actually goes falls for it, so he can't like lightning right away. But he's going to take the Gone Barrel damage. And end up connecting for a lot. And yeah, even lightning snouts can be too late because he wasted his log earlier. And he just 
Beating out their log with the goblins is very important if you're trying to get some damage in return. So, GG's overall, and I think I played out pretty well. Alright, next game here against this player. Go for Gone Barrel right away in the anti NATO position. Always want to play your Gone Barrel in the corner so you don't have like a good um, spot to tornado your goblins into their king tower and activate it. And it gives me a weird rocket value, so I'm gonna take that. I'm not complaining. I mean, Lava Loon players today are currently built different. Like, who goes Skelly Drags Balloon at the bridge for a play like that? Trying to get um, an advantage off of us, but we capitalize off that by saving our elixir. And go for Lava, so I always want to try to pressure Ops lane here. And have your Mighty Miner ability ready. But since he went for Barbarians, I didn't want to use my ability to make sure that I take out his tower. And I believe I went for a cannon here, but he went for minions first, so I went for an Ice Spirit. Kind of unfortunate how to waste another princess to kill that one minion, guys. Like, I could have saved my elixir if I didn't have to waste that princess, but whatever. I went for goblins and Mighty Miner here to tank. Actually surprised that I had enough elixir to do all of this. And actually defended. So I went for our ability here to finish off some of the lava puffs. And for a Gone Brawl aggressive here. Yeah, yeah Tar's gonna be down at 7 e 3 And he does waste the minion horde. I should have went for an Ice Spirit with the Mining Miner, so he could have gotten way more damage on a King Tower. Because at this point, you always want to try to rush it for the 3 crown because you're never gonna successfully defend or pushes you're always going to like lose a lot of hp on your tower and even your tower and their um next pushes and double and triple elixir because it just gets too much and my minor bomb and princess can do so little to defend so you always want to try to pressure as much as possible so for gombra i'll try to bait something out and since he went for a lava i just go for aggressive my minor goblins here and I'm just trying to like break through the barbarians guys and try to get some chip damage. That was the plan. I was knowing I knew that I couldn't defend these skelly drags here, so I let those go. And they're gonna end up taking up my right side tower, but look at this king tower guys, it's only down to uh, 1300 HP. In our barrel here, and it forced out a freeze spell, which is very crucial. Now he doesn't have that on offense, because the worst thing that your opponent can do is Spam everything in the pocket and go for a freeze, and you can't defend. And he tries to predict here, so, so I go to on defense mode right now because I knew that I needed a good mining miner push to finish off his king tower, so I kind of waited. So I group all the minions together, go for a mining miner here. And I believe I. Okay, I thought I popped the ability, but apparently I didn't. And thank god he didn't have enough loot here for freeze at this moment, or I could have lost entirely, but yeah, he did it late. And I went super aggressive here knowing that he was low on elixir, because it was a late freeze, and has no barbs in cycle, and it's gonna be GG. Very close game indeed. Managed to win by just pressuring, knowing that I can't defend. Alright guys, next game here against Juso14. And this guy's a really solid player, actually. He's the first player to max out all the masteries in game, so definitely a solid, consistent, and um, very good uh, grinder in Clash Royale. So he goes with aggressive three musketeers here. I'm not sure about that play, to be honest, because he's super low, and I can just counter push here with a princess and ice spirit. I'm for low goblins, knowing that the heal spirit was there, so I didn't want to cause any trouble and yeah, make sure his musketeers died. And for aggressive mining miner, knowing he was low on elixir. It's an interesting goblin giant pull by him. I can just defend it for a cannon. Like so. Here I just wait to save my elixir. So I thought he had like mini P.E.K.K.A. or something, high DPS, so I wasn't gonna risk anything, but since the princess was still there, I just went aggressive. I went for an aggressive princess ice spirit to finish off that minion. Again guys, that one minion that still survives. So annoying. And I went for Goblin surround on the gold knight. Help prevent it. I'm not sure why he didn't dash, but I think he could have gotten to the gold knight to the king tower. I mean, to the crown tower if he dashed it. And I think I went for a mining miner here. And Mipeka. 
and log it to red in case you want it to zap or freeze. I'd rather have my cannon to defend his um, goblin giants. But anyways, he does go for Electrum there, and I just went for a log on it, knowing that I didn't want to rock it and not have anything for three musketeers. I went for aggressive gone barrel here, trying to like pressure him, knowing that he doesn't have any good counter to our gone barrel. And went for a mine down low. Not sure why I did it low. I thought he was gonna go 3M in the pocket again. I mean at the bridge, so I didn't want to risk that move. So I went for Goblin's aggressive and gone barrel. Princess tried to hit the minions, but he does does go for 3M. He don't even take his tower out and we had to deal with this massive counter push, so. That was definitely um, a very bad play by me going in at that moment. But it's, I should have went on defense mode, but yeah, ended up paying the price for that and taking so much damage. Not sure how he defended the left side, but managed to do so. And I knew I had to take his tower out here, or I could not go at any moment because he has minions and rage. So it's okay, counter to Gombrel, but they just had to stall this Golden Knight and log the mini on the left. And it was GG. Definitely could have played that a little better, focus more on defense. That's what we should play. Alright guys, next game here against fair underscore legend. And one for Princess in the back, I wasn't sure what he was playing. And Ice Spirit Poison can mean any like a minor cycle deck of some sort. So I'm going for a log to see what's up and Ice Spirit as well. He goes with a Mortar, so Cannon's very solid defensive card against it. And I'm going for a Gone Barrel, see if he out his log, but um, we didn't unfortunately. And let's go with the Goblins in the middle, so... I just waited for his next move here. He went for Ice Spirit, so for a Princess here. To defend it and I'm just gonna wait. You never want to overcommit and play pass you always want to try to play passive against water and single elixir. Because you never want to be down on elixir and forced to defend their mortars over and over again. And for goblins here, catch the miner, very nice. And pop the ability, get some nice damage in. It's like one elixir for 500 damage. I'll take that. And I'm for a Gone Barrel here just to cycle. I knew I'd try to save the cannon for the mortar. So for Princess Ice Spirit for the Valk. And since he poisoned that, Princess ends up dying, so I had to waste a log, unfortunately. I'm trying to save my goblins at all times for the miner, the cannon for the mortar, and mighty miner for Arch Queen. I went for my Miner there because I thought he was going to play something in front of the Mortar. And Princess here for the Arch Queen. For a Goblin Suit tank. And we do catch the Miner, very nice. And I went for a Gombro ro a Rocket because he just wasted his log and he used to score a lot of damage. Maybe that he could not have a good time stopping that. And I went for a Log Cannon. And I think that mortar just dies barely, so that's a nice defense there. For a princess aggressive, so I thought I could get some shots in, but it actually fed into the Arch Queen there, and that was a bad princess overall. So I kind of wasted three elixir. Which may or may not uh, cost me the game. But for Gombrel, try to think that his log is out of cycle, but there's a very nice goblins picking it up. So we just went for a cannon and log here. And I went for goblins in the center, making sure that the mortar doesn't connect. And I don't have anything for his next miner, which is kind of annoying. So I go for a gone barrel, but we played it there for some reason, try to break our princess. So anyways, I had to go for a cannon on the Valk had nothing else. And we're actually up in damage for some reason. And for a rocket. Unfortunately it doesn't do anything else. So it has a negative two trade for us. I think one for a log cycle killed Ice Spirit. 
Yeah, another aggressive Arch Queen, not sure why he's grouping all his troops like that. Like, it's not very ideal. But the Miner ends up getting two hits, which is very um, crucial for our opponent here. And that was a bad gone, bro. He just got so much log value. I think I should have saved my Elixir and rocketed the tower instead. So that was a mistake. I'm for Ice Spirit, should have like stalled the Valve, because I thought he was going to go for Mortar. And wait to rocket here. Nice rocket value, I'll take it. I predict the Mortar here with a Cannon. Very beautiful play. And Log, just in case he wanted to reset. Yeah, he tried to go for a sneaky Ice Spirit there. I saw that Ice Spirit. He's progressive uh, Princess, but unfortunately it goes for a very nice Arch Queen. Like, this guy has good reaction time and it's saving him from um, unnecessary chip damage. Yeah, that Mortar got a BS hit on her tower for some reason, and um, he's making a comeback and things aren't really going our way. And I try to predict Arch Queen here with the cannon, which is okay play there. Gotta force out his ability. And for Rocket again. And we actually pick up the Miner this time. For our Gone Barrel. And Log. And Arch Queen. And with Rocket. And we don't, we don't catch the Miner. No, unfortunate. And yeah. Uh, try to sneak in some damage last second with the Goblin Barrel there, but... Very nice um, defense from the opponent there. Give him credit. Good game. Played super well. And... Not an easy matchup, but we definitely made that close, so I was proud about that. Especially going same lane. Same lane is very hard. Alright guys, next game here against Titan underscore Pro. So I'm for an Ice Spirit here to see what's up. Always a good solid starting play if you don't know what your opponent's playing. And Log on top of the Skelet's army. Go for a Gombrel knowing he didn't have Tornado. Usually if your opponent has Skelet's army, uh, chances are that they don't have Tornado. Because Tornado and Skarmy don't really pair well in the same deck. And he goes with a very aggressive um, graveyard here. And he actually got a lot of damage, even though I went for Princess Log. Yeah, that's um, broken RNG right there, guys. He didn't deserve all that damage, but that's graveyard and it's whatever. And I go for Go Gombrel Goblins, try to get some damage out of it. And pop the ability to kill the minions. And look. But then it looks like he defended pretty well. And we still had to deal with the princess on the left, so one princess on the right. And he's like at one elixir or two elixir right now, so. I put a little ice spear and I ignore the entire Dark Prince, and I'm for a Gone Barrel. Try to even out the damage, and I want him to go opposite lane, not same lane as me, because Graveyard's all about counter pushing and overwhelming your opponent. So here, guys. I go for a Mining Miner because you can't really tank minions when you're low on HP because they do a lot of damage. And he goes for Arch Queen, I had to let that go. Mining Miner dies, unfortunately. And I will go for Goblins on here to try to beat off the ability. And go for a Log and Ice Spirit. I did this because I wanted to cycle back to my Mining Miner, not use my Rocket. So it goes, if he goes giant at the bridge, I can just go for Mining Miner to tank. To take it out. That was bad timing with the Princess Skelet's army there, so he kind of got lucky. Had to waste my goblins. And yeah, I went for a Log Rocket and I not need damage here. And I was confident in defending this push. But it did kind of get scary because I barely got my Log down in time, as you guys can see. And RNG barely, almost takes out my tower, which is very scary. Here's where things get tricky because he's up in damage and going same lane. So for Gamba Rocket trying to make something happen, catch the Skelet's army, but he goes for a Snowball, which I totally forgot he had. And for Mining Miner here. And he played his graveyard in a weird spot where um, our King Tower gets activated, but I don't think that matters because the graveyard is going to die anyways. Yeah, and he's going for ability to finish off the tower and some EGD. Very close game, indeed. You sort of watch out for their giants and cycle and arch queens. And this should put us over at 2,000 points, and here we go. Uh, 35th in the entire world. That's what we like to see, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more. Bye, guys.